suspension components on it because that only makes it worse. Um, that's considering this to be the same wobble that they're talking about, but it needs to be addressed. They need to look a little bit further into that. Sergio Pinafarina, the Italian auto designer, he died last week at the age of 85. And if you don't know who this guy is, but you like Ferraris, Maseratis, Rolls Royces, Bentleys, then you like Sergio because he was the auto designer. Uh, in fact, he was to automotive design what Carroll Shelby was to engine performance. Just to put that in perspective, if you want to see some of what he's done, just go in and Google Ferrari Enzo, Testarossa, P4, Ferrari FF. I mean, there's just too many cars to list. And they are the most gorgeous car designs in the world uh, that he that his company, his firm, and it was started by his father way back, and they've been involved in automotive design for a long time, but they really knew what they were doing. Check out some of those designs. He died last week at the age of 85. He was actually involved, and I would say if, if you could ask him today, he probably wouldn't put a feather in his cap for it, but the Cadillac Avante, if you remember the little convertible Cadillac, I think in the 80s, he was... Uh, a part of the design team on that Cadillac, too. NASCAR driver A.J. Almendinger of the number 22 Shell Dodge has been suspended for failing a drug test. This drug test was actually taken. It's a random test they do with all NASCAR drivers. Um, But he got the test when he was in Kentucky at the Kentucky Speedway race. And the test results came back positive. They're not saying for what necessarily, but... Enough that he has been taken out of the driver's seat. Sam Hornish Jr. is going to take over, and he's going to at least have those duties until uh, an investigation is completed. Good news for do-it-yourselfers. New legislation passed last week requiring auto auto manufacturers to submit TSBs, which are technical service bulletins. Um, They're not recalls, but they are known non-safety-related issues that all manufacturers have that have the fixes for them. Um, typically an independent store, uh, dealers would get them pretty quickly, but an independent store, a a smaller garage wouldn't see these things for 12 to 24 months. Sometimes they're incomplete. Well, this legislation demands that they deliver these as soon as they're complete to the department of transportation. And then the transportation department is going to turn around and make them available to the public. Um, this is good, but some of these things require special tools. They require programming, but there is a lot of them that somebody at home can get online and pull up these technical service bulletins, which until now have not been available, and you could probably fix some of this stuff yourself. Um, it's going to help some smaller garages that don't have the ability to obtain this information, so that's really, really good news. Um, the Nissan Leaf has set a world speed record. That's right, you know, that little electric car, the Leaf. Uh, It set the record for the fastest car going backward, and it averaged 55 miles an hour in reverse for more than three miles. That's incredible. Don't try to break this record, please. It's a lot harder to do in a gas car than it is in an electric vehicle. You don't have the facilities to do that anyway, um, legally, anyhow, so... Don't do that. Too many battery-operated gadgets in, are in our lives, apparently cell phones, iPads, iPods, Kindles, etc. cetera. Uh, you know, the, follow, the falling of the electric car battery cost, everybody was real concerned about electric cars and, and the battery life expectancy, and it's going to cost thousands of dollars. And that price came down dramatically over the last couple of years, but here's the problem. The lithium that uh, is the main component in these batteries uh have tripled in just the last few months because it is the primary component of those car batteries as well as all these other gadgets we're using supply and demand folks automotive history (coughs) hoping we get through this before the break you know july 3rd 1985 the blockbuster movie back to the future debuted with that iconic delorean dmc 12 which was transformed into a time machine. Any young people out there that haven't seen Back to the Future, there's a couple of them actually, but you ought to go see this really cool movie with Michael J. Fox. July 4th, 2007. This was kind of a surprise to me, uh, but I'm not a Fiat buff, but the Fiat 500 was relaunched 
in Italy, July 4th, 2007, and it was 50 years to the day that the original Fiat 500 was introduced. Um, shockingly, there's not a whole lot of difference in the way they look, but the 500 is new to us here in the United States, but it's uh, it's been one of the most popular cars in Europe for decades, uh, the Fiat 500. July 5th, 1951, Gordon Burig of South Bend, Indiana, patented an automotive roof that had removable panels. And this was, in fact, the birth of the T-top. But even though he patented that and had some sort of design or prototype in 1951, they would not be seen in a production vehicle until 68, when it appeared on the 68 Corvette. July 6, 1955, the Federal Air Pollution Control Act was enacted. Uh, this initiated efforts to control motor vehicle emissions. See, they saw global warming way before Al Gore did. This was in 1955. Um, and look where we're at now, and it continues. July 7th of 2008, well, this, is, this is pretty weird. Eight weeks to the day after Adam Petty was killed in a crash during practice at New Hampshire Motor Speedway, Kenny Irwin Jr. is killed at the same track in nearly the same place on the track during one of his practice runs. Isn't that odd? That's that's sad, too, Adam Petty being killed and Kenny Irwin. But to have two of those young guys, NASCAR drivers, killed on the same track eight weeks to the day apart from one another, and that did happen on July 7th in the year of 2000. When we come back, we got some really cool stuff coming up because I have dissected some Craigslist ads, and I want to inform you, the listeners of Dipsticks and Deals, exactly what some of these folks are talking about when they say things like, like new. We'll get into it, and we're going to see if Third Wheel's almost here to join us. We'll be right back with Dipsticks and Deals on Real Talk, 1160. Weather when you need it. Your Real Talk 1160 forecast every 15 minutes. Here's the forecast for Northern Kentucky, Cincinnati, and the Tri-State. As you wrap up the weekend, showers and thunderstorms are likely late today. Unity Morse County with a high of 95, the heat index 102. They'll have an excessive heat warning in effect this afternoon and evening. Showers and thunderstorms are likely this evening. Overnight, our low 68. From the Real Talk 1160 Weatherbug Forecast Center, this is Rod Tanner. Hi folks, Debbie. Robkey with Robkey Automotive. I'm here to tell you about Northern Kentucky's best full-service used car store. Shop Robkey for sales, service, parts, collision repair, and rental car. Robkey Automotive, where quality is superior. Our prices can't be beat, our service is guaranteed, and our parts come with a national warranty. Come visit Robkey and see why our customers are always smiling. Robkey Automotive, I-275 at Exit 80 in Northern Kentucky, on the web at GoRobkey.com, or check us out on Facebook for fantastic deals of the week. Jerry Doyle, one of my doctors from Cuba, said that if I was in the Cuban healthcare system or the British healthcare system, or if I was in the Obamacare system five years from now, you'd already have a toe tag. The Jerry Doyle Show, weeknights at 7 on Real Talk 1160. Enjoy the 100 greatest books of all time and never read a word. Listen to them instead on the Library of Classics MP3 player. Enjoy Moby Dick, Gulliver's Travels, Tom Sawyer, Little Women, and 96 more all preloaded on the compact player. Listen while driving, gardening, working out, or relaxing in your favorite chair. It's the perfect companion for road trips or on a plane. For a limited time, you'll receive the easy-to-use MP3 player, headphones, belt clip, car adapter, and 100 classic audiobooks. You could easily spend over $1,000 to buy the entire collection. You get everything for just $99 plus shipping. That's less than a dollar a book. Order now and you'll also get 50 great classical music performances preloaded on the player. You're fully protected by our lifetime guarantee. If you are ever dissatisfied, get a complete refund, no questions asked. Call toll-free right now and order your library of classics. 1-800-435-6041. 1-800-435-6041. That's 1-800-435-6041. This is the Bulldog. How much is it going to take for you, you weak, compliant sheep? that follows these fools wherever they lead you. See, because I've had enough. You, you weak, weak person, haven't had enough. How much is it going to take before you say enough is enough? Hey, the Bulldog. Eric Dieters. Morning 7 to 9. Real Talk 1160. You all might think I'm tough. 
bold, brash, smart. You may not realize this, but I'm a painter and a poet, too. I'm kind of famous for it. The Bulldog. Eric Dieters. Morning, 7 to 9. Real Talk 1160. Look for the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Have a banana. Eating well. Have two bananas. And playing. <laughs> Come on, Baloo. Go together like best friends. You better believe it. With the food pyramid, the bare necessities of living healthy are easy. That bring the bare necessities of life. It gives you just the right amount of grains, vegetables, fruits, milk, and meats and beans. Crazy. So eat right. You eat ants? <laughs> You're gonna love the way they tickle. Be active. <laughs> I'll move. That's it. And don't forget to have fun. <laughs> You're lots of fun, Baloo. <laughs> That's the way to be the best. <laughs> You're all right, kid. At anything you do. Yeah, man. You can go to mypyramid.gov to play some games and find out more. Me and Baloo, we've got things to do. This has been a message from the U.S. Department of Agriculture and the Ad Council. It's hiding under the sink. It's hiding under the couch. It's in the basement. It can even be in your bed. What is that? It's bugs. The mild winter we had was good for us and great for pests. But don't fret. Call Harvey's Pest Control and ask for Tom Harvey. He'll find it and he'll kill it. Harvey's Pest Control. 513-300-2880. That's 513-300-2880. The Bulldog, Eric Dieters. Weekday mornings at 7. Real Talk 1160. Welcome back to Dix Dicks and Deals on Real Talk 1160. I'm Jimmy B waiting for the third wheel. I understand that he's on his way in. Shoot us an email at ask at dipsticksanddeals.com. We uh, would love to hear from you, answer any questions that you have. Love to hear comments, good, bad, or indifferent about the show. You can email me direct at jimmyb at dipsticksanddeals.com or the third wheel at the third wheel at dipsticksanddeals.com. Things to look for when buying from a private owner, specifically from like a Craigslist. Um, and this is, uh, you know, those are free listings. I've used it. A lot of folks have used it. Um, where you can put something for sale and it's actually, it doesn't cost anything. Um the problem is that having the space available to talk about your vehicle in order to sell it turns everybody into a salesperson, obviously. And a uh, couple of things that you need to be mindful of when you're reviewing vehicles for sale on Craigslist, for instance, the photograph. You don't want to use the photograph as a condition reference, especially if the car looks good. Um, I'm amazed sometimes when I put things on Craigslist, when I take pictures of my crappy old car, how good it looks on, on the Internet. So pictures make the car look really, really good. And if they've washed the vehicle and it's got a little gleam to it and then they take the picture, you may be uh, inclined to go hurry up and look at it. So just be mindful that when you get there, you may have a bit of a let down if your expectation expectation is set relative to the photograph. However... Sometimes it can give you some clues, and it's good to see if it's been in a collision or something obvious, you know, the wheels don't match or something. Um, one of them I pulled up, the, it had the, I had a picture of the vehicle, and it said in the description, small dents on hood due to hailstorm. Can easily be knocked out, which in and of itself is not true. If you don't know how to get hail dents out, don't try it, you'll make it worse. It says not too noticeable, but what was funny is you can actually see them in the picture, in the photograph. You can see all the dents in the hood. So from that aspect, the picture works well for you. But in most cases, people are going to pick the best angle, clean the car up, make it look great. So keep that in mind when you, especially if you're driving any distance, to look at something and you think, wow, that really looks good. Because when you get there, you're really going to see the scratches, dents, dings, and et cetera meticulously maintained you see that a lot on craigslist and uh, what that means or what that should mean when you go out to look at a vehicle that has been meticulously maintained is that they have every single service record and have not missed any scheduled maintenance 
is what meticulously maintained me. So when you get there, or before you get there, when you talk to them on the telephone, uh, which is another thing that I didn't have in my notes, but thinking about it, if you're dealing with somebody on Craigslist that only wants to email and text, I wouldn't waste my time. Um, if those people are interested in selling it, they're going to give you their phone number. They're going to tell you to call them. In fact, a lot of them say, don't text me and email me. Just call me. That's somebody who's seriously, seriously wanting to sell the vehicle. And you're going to be able to ask the questions and kind of get a read on their tone and, and kind of feel them out a little bit. So call them. Don't just do it on the Internet. Um, but when you do talk to them, ask them. Um, you say it was meticulously maintained. What do you mean by that? Let them explain it to you. And uh, you can let them know, well, I, w- I would guess that you would have every service record. Uh, because really, somebody who's going to meticulously maintain it has researched the maintenance that's due on the vehicle. They've probably got a spreadsheet or one of those little things that uh, makes copies of invoices and receipts and have it all on a disk. That's being meticulous. So everybody likes to throw the word around pin them down and let's see how meticulous they really are you could show up and find in their garage they're a hoarder so beware of that also beware of runs and drives great i love this one why would somebody say that if you're looking to buy a vehicle you would assume automatically that it runs and drives pretty good um but they'll tell you that it runs and drives great now when you're looking at these ads Pay particular attention because here's one that I found on a 98 Neon. um, And I pulled these from other cities, not so much from around here because I didn't want to offend anybody. But uh, a 98 Dodge Neon RT has got 126,000 miles on it, uh, 2.4 liter engine, runs and drives great. He says it gets about 32 to 37 miles per gallon, so it's pretty good on gas. Now, here's where it gets interesting. I know it needs a motor mount because it started getting loose. The muffler rattles under the car and the struts are bad in the back, (laughs) but it runs and drives great. Okay. Well, if you got bad struts, you got a muffler rattling and uh, you got a bad motor mount, that car does not run and drive great. It runs and drives, but not great. So keep that in mind. Another one I seen where a guy says the only thing it needs, well, he prefaced this by saying it runs and drives perfect. The only thing it needs is a throttle body, which is around $500. But then he goes on to say, It has new tires. The car is in excellent condition, but the right front tire is flat. And if you're interested in buying it, I'll put it on. I'll put the spare on so you can drive it. Uh. (laughs) That comes on the heels of runs and drives. Perfect. Watch out for uh, books more for or less than book value. You see people use the NADA and the Kelly Blue Book values. So many people put this on there because they'll they'll price their vehicle and then they'll let you know that it books for more than this or it's less than NADA value. Well, the first question you could a- you should ask is well, why? Um, I mean, are you just stupid, or is you know you have a ton of money and you just want to make somebody a good deal, or is there something really wrong with the car? Why can you not? get the advertised value or at minimum why wouldn't you start at that value or you know a few hundred dollars less to make it attractive but when these cars are thousands of dollars under these book values something's not right so you need to look into that be cautious of uh the term never been raced or abused okay who said raced or abused i didn't say raced or abused why would somebody put that in an ad arbitrarily Never been raced or abused. Uh, Probably because it's been raced and ragged out. And they've done some things to try to fix it up. And they're going to let you know I've never raced it. But when somebody brings out factual uh, statements such as never been raced or abused, that's usually an inclination that it has actually, that's what's happened to it. So be careful. Um one of the biggest one that I'm, I'm I'm wary of that I would caution you is uh, bought from an old lady, maintained by an elderly gentleman. You know, what does that mean? I work in the service industry, and I have worked in it for a long time. Some of the older folks, God bless them, uh, they don't always get things done on time the older they get. So while the car may not be driven a whole lot, 
that doesn't mean automatically that it's been uh, maintained properly or that it's been taken care of properly. In fact, from an elderly aunt, I got a car, um, 20,000 miles on a car. It was a 1978 Malibu. Um, I guess the car was probably close to 15 years old, uh, 20 years old when I got it, and it was it had 15 or 20,000 miles on it. She was an old lady. She had never had the oil changed on it, I don't think. Um, the paint was destroyed because she had never had the car washed. Um, it ran, but it didn't run and drive great. Let me put it to you that way. And it was a low mile car. So don't be misled and that misnomer that I got it from a little old lady in Pasadena because sometimes that cannot be such a good thing. Um, red flag stories. This one blows my mind. When people have to explain why they're selling the car, an effort to make you think that it must really be a good car and this poor guy has to sell it, you know, like I hey, took it in trade on an old hot dog, hot dog wagon I had or something of that nature it just blows me away. And I've, I'm always suspect when somebody has to explain things that I didn't ask because, honestly, I don't really ca- I care about the history of the vehicle, but telling me how you came to get it is irrelevant. So be cautious of that. When you hear the stories, I call them red flag stories. You don't need to know that stuff. Something's up. Um, same with I don't want to sell it, but it pretty much when you see that, it means I'm a liar, and I hope some poor sap takes this piece of crap off my hands. That's what I have found when I deal with Craigslist ads. I don't want to sell it, but I've got one here and a plenty more when we get back from break. I got a guy put an ad on here that said due to priorities and you know what that means you got a uh you got a priority speech from his wife or his girlfriend and that might be a good car he's being forced to sell it we'll get into some more of this stuff when we get back on real talk 1160 you're listening to jimmy being third wheel on dipsticks and deals weather when you need it your real talk 1160 forecast every 15 minutes Here's the forecast for Northern Kentucky, Cincinnati, and the Tri-State. As you wrap up the weekend, showers and thunderstorms are likely late today. It'll be mostly cloudy with a high of 95. The heat index 102. We'll have an excessive heat warning in effect this afternoon and evening. Showers and thunderstorms are likely this evening overnight, all of 68. From the Real Talk 1160 Weatherbug Forecast Center, this is Rod Tanner. It's hiding under the sink. It's hiding under the couch. It's in the basement. It can even be in your bed. What is that? It's bugs. The mild winter we had was good for us and great for pests. But don't fret. Call Harvey's Pest Control and ask for Tom Harvey. He'll find it and he'll kill it. Harvey's Pest Control. 513-300-2880. That's 513-300-2880. Laura Ingram. Yeah, ding, 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 ding. We've got an app for that. Oh, fantastic. Download TuneIn Radio for your Android, iPhone, or BlackBerry. And listen to Real Talk 1160 anywhere, anytime. Your healthy radio addiction. Hey, it's the Wild Man for my new favorite hangout, Willie's Sports Cafe in Covington. If you love sports, you'll love Willie's in Covington. They've got sports on flat screens in the restaurant and the bar. Before the Reds game, take the Willie's shuttle to the ballpark for three bucks. Then back to Willie's to celebrate a Reds win. If you love food, you'll love Willie's in Covington. Half off appetizers every day from one to seven and daily specials like Monday's Burger Madness. A half pound burger, waffle fries, and a drink for just seven bucks. Tuesday's Chicken Madness. A chicken sandwich, waffle fries, and a drink for seven bucks. And Wednesdays, bang bang shrimp, just five bucks. If you love drinks, you'll love Willie's and Covington. The best happy hour every day from one to seven. Two dollar domestic pints and bottles, three dollar domestic drafts, well drinks, and house wine. Take it from the wild man. You're going to love Willie Sports Cafe in Covington, just over the Brent Spence Bridge on 75 South. Take the first exit, turn right, then left on the Willie Sports Cafe, or visit Willie'sCovington.com. Hi folks, Debbie. Rob Key with Rob Key Automotive. I'm here to tell you about Northern Kentucky's best full-service used car store. Shop Rob Key for sales, service, parts, collision repair, and rental car. Rob Key Automotive, where quality is superior, our prices can't be beat, our service is guaranteed, and our parts come with a national warranty. Come visit Rob Key and see why our customers are always smiling. Rob Key Automotive, I-275 at Exit 80 in Northern Kentucky, on the web at GoRobKey.com, or check us out on Facebook for fantastic deals of the week. We're driven, we're driven to treat you right. 
Sometimes, people buy cookies as a gift for us to send to our soldiers. They tell us it reminds them of home. Emily is one of thousands of Girl Scouts who will send cookies to troops stationed overseas. Every Girl Scout cookie has a mission to help girls do great things. Meanwhile, at the IGA Express on Route 18 near Burlington Pike. Dude! Oh, no. I've been here at IGA Express since you dropped me off to see these new pumps. You're kidding me, right? I know, right? You should see them lit up at night. I think I gotta go now. Hey, aren't you gonna fill her up, dude? Actually, I was gonna stop in and pay my bills, but I'll come back. Well, hold your horses. Pay your bills? Yes. Now you can pay all your bills at IGA Express for a nominal fee. See ya. Why so tense, dude? Some Charlie Biggs fried chicken ought to calm you right down. That's another reason I stop by. Look, can I just pay my bills and go? This is one heck of a gas station, man. It's IGA Express, and you need to move. I was gonna pump your gas, dude. Come say hi to Peggy at the IGA Express on Route 18 in Florence, off Burlington Pike, west of Florence Mall. The lowest gas prices in the area, and now pay all of your bills. Can I check your oil? No. What about your washer fluid? No! Dude, you need another piece of that chicken. Since 1975, Huseman Schmidt Insurance Agency is the name that you can trust for quality personal and business insurance, as well as dedicated customer service throughout Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana. Huseman Schmidt Insurance offers competitive rates, and they represent many great insurers so you can compare plans and coverages. Getting a quote is fast, free, and it's easy. Just call 513-521-8590 or visit them on the web at HuesmanSchmidt.com. That's HuesmanSchmidt.com. Having trouble picking us up? Download the free TuneIn Radio app and listen to Crystal Clear Real Talk 1160. Welcome back. Dip Sticks and Deals on Real Talk 1160. The third wheel just popped in here with his daughter. They just did get back. Once he gets set up, we'll uh, we'll talk to the third wheel for for a second. We were talking about things to uh, consider or to be aware of when you're buying a car from a private owner. Specifically buying one off of Craigslist, and I've gone through six or seven descriptions or things you'll see in Craigslist ads that you need to know the true meaning of, um, such as, I have to sell it because I'm moving. I never did understand that one. I always want to ask, where are you moving to? The future? Somewhere <laughs> somewhere you don't need roads? <laughs> Because uh, you're probably still going to need a car. So I have never really understood. I have to sell it because I'm moving. But you see it. Um, next time you talk to somebody with one, you're interested in a vehicle, ask them. I'll be interested to know. And then jump on Facebook or send us an email and let us know what that means. Um, nearly new or like new. Um, I've got news for you. With uh, 114,000 miles, it ain't nowhere close to new. Uh, as an example... How about a 2003 Lincoln Navigator? 114,000 miles. Um, He says this truck is like new. It rides smooth and runs great. Has cold air, power sunroof. Then he says the only thing wrong is it's missing the handle on the back of the third row seat and it has a hole in the dashboard. Buddy, I'm afraid to tell you, but that is not like new because I haven't seen a lot of new cars that are missing seat handles and have holes in the dashboard so it's nearly new or like new uh relative how about recently serviced this uh usually means that it just broke down and they had to fix it um that's what pushed them over the edge and they decided to put it on craigslist so recently serviced means yeah i just had to spend some money on this car because it broke now they're selling it soon after it was recently serviced. Usually means they're tired of spending money on it, trying to keep it running. <laughs> so be mindful of that. You could be looking at a piece of junk. Um, this one, you think people would be smarter than this. Look for duplicate ads. Um, I have seen the same vehicle, same phone number with a similar similar description, and it has a different price. It's either you know one price. It's for two thousand, and then you see it like four or five spots down, and it's in there for fifteen or eighteen hundred. So. It's weird. I don't know why they do that either, but look for duplicate ads because that could be an indicator that something a little shaky is going on. Um, another thing, I wouldn't waste time on any ad that ends with hit me up. I've learned from experience. If somebody says, you want to come check out my car, hit me up, Yeah, don't do that. Pass. Go to the next vehicle. 
Um, I also have another rule. Anybody that writes the word amenities in their Craigslist ass, I just I, I just won't go look at the car because I don't think I want to meet that person. When you list amenities. That's one of the hardest words I could ever try it's, to pronounce. Sorry. It's Craigslist for crying out loud. Amenities. Mm, James. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Never any problems. I saw this on three or four of them. And uh, really what this means or could mean is I'm getting rid of this because it's going to start nickel and diming me to the grave. Or there is a problem. Or there is something, but never any problems. Um, that's, that doesn't happen. That's a lie. All cars have problems at some point or another. How about immaculate condition? If it's been driven on a road and it hasn't been restored, it's not immaculate. I'm sorry to say. I've not seen an immaculate car on Craigslist that was truly immaculate now you can see those kind of cars but they're going to be a um, hundred thousand dollars yeah and they're going to be through the uh Meekum car auction or barrett jackson right. they're not going to be on craigslist so ignore those that claim that they have immaculate conditioned vehicles um which really is a good reference and we've talked about this before when folks price their vehicle for craigslist and are looking at nada or they're looking at Kelly Blue Book value, more than likely they're punching in perfect condition. You know what I mean? Where everything's aces, so they get the highest value. And you need to consider that too. So if you look at a car and you want to see what NADA or Blue Book is, after you get all the information and a reference of the condition and the maintenance and all that stuff, plug it in yourself and get the real book value. Well, you're going to want to look at just, I mean, if you're buying something anyway and you're looking at these books, you're going to want to buy uh, average to rough. Yeah, you always want to go a little lower. Yeah, I mean, that's what the dealers do. Trade. Right. Trade value. value. But that gives you a good reference point versus what you're reading on Craigslist where a guy says Kelly Blue Book's $5,000 and I only went 3500 for it. There's a reason. And it might be a good car. The reason might just be that he put in everything was perfect on the car and got the higher value. And that's what he put on Craigslist. I look at it. I look at it two ways. You're either, you know, you're you're selling your car because you can't get what you want from a dealer, so you're going to sell it at a higher price. The second reason is with the economy the way it is, you're just trying to get some money. Well, and that could be, but I think you and I, you know, and maybe it's just me. Call us or send us a message on Facebook or or email us and uh, tell us if what your Craigslist experiences have been. Because I've done some stuff on Craigslist. I think Craigslist is good. I just think you need to know who you're dealing with, which brings up another issue. Craigslist in general, don't ever go do it by yourself. Always have somebody with you. Oh, absolutely. Always have your cell phone because you don't know these people. And especially when you are going to look at a vehicle and have to drive it, uh, are they going to let you drive it by themselves? Are they going to go with you? I mean, there's just a lot of variables. So always bring somebody, you know, and have somebody kind of watch your back if it looks or sounds like a duck it's it's usually a duck it's usually a duck exactly um anytime you see and you see this probably the most is mostly highway miles i'm gonna tell you um unless you use the vehicle for like interstate delivery service um or they just are filthy rich and been driving around the country aimlessly there's no cars with mostly highway miles. If you're not in sales, if you're not using it as a delivery vehicle, the majority of car miles are not highway miles. So ask them, what was, where did the highway miles come from? Because these people aren't saying it's been on the highway a lot. They're saying most of the miles were put on on the expressway. And the notion is that the start-stop right. is what tears these engines and brakes and wears them out. So they're going to tell you that well, most it's got a lot of miles, but most of it was on the highway. Well, did you go to Florida twice a week? I want to know how they came up with most of them are highway because I'm telling you, I've quizzed people and have quickly found out that's not the case. So, Well, how, how true is it, though, then, when you're saying highway miles versus start-stop city miles, you know, when does it really start to matter? 
Well, I mean, on a very 50, high amount. 50,000, 75, 100,000. Um, it really starts to matter relative to the year of the vehicle and whether it's over miles or not. Does it have more miles than typical? And usually you're going to see this when it's extraordinary. Um, I've got a 2003 pickup, I think, that's got 200,000 miles on it. I could put that on Craigslist and say, well, you know, it's mostly highway miles, so it's not that bad. No way to prove it. There's no way to prove it. Um, but the problem is, like I said, unless it's a delivery vehicle, you are an interstate sales person where you're truly on the highway most of the time. Because that's what you're saying. Most of the time I've been in this car, I've been on the expressway. So it hasn't had the wear and tear of starting and stopping, turning the engine off and back on, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And that's the theory. That's what they want you to think. But I'm telling you, the majority of these are not. And you can really tell because the guys that are the salesmen or are doing the stuff where they're on the road a lot, there's cosmetic things that can prove that. You see where they've drugged their briefcase off the back deck lid a million times and things like that. So there's indicators. Just got to know what to look for. I've only got a couple of these left, and we're going to get into some other stuff. We've got dipstick of the week coming up. We've got the fuel averages coming up and a lot of other stuff. You're cruising with... Jimmy B in the third wheel on Dipsticks and Deals, Real Talk 1160. Hey folks, Jimmy B here. Did you know that one of the most important structural aspects of your vehicle is the windshield? It accounts for almost 50% of the rollover strength. That's why you must choose the right company for windshield repair and replacement, and that's Mel's Auto Glass. Mel's Auto Glass has certified professionals serving the Tri-State for more than 25 years. Don't trust something so important to anyone else. The experts at Mel's Auto Glass for quality, value, and peace of mind. Call 513-563-7771. That's 513-563-7771. Real Talk 1160. WQRT, Florence, Cincinnati. Home of the Bulldog, Eric Dieters. Laura Ingram. Michael Savage. Mike Huckabee. Real Sports with Wild Man Walker. And Dennis Miller. Real Talk 1160. 1160, 1160. AP Radio News. I'm Tim McGuire. At least 30 people have died in the oppressive heat wave that baked much of the Midwest and eastern U.S. A four-month-old, the latest fatality, she was left in a hot car in a suburb of Indianapolis. A separate incident, also outside Indianapolis, leaves a 16-month-old fighting for her life after her mother reportedly left her in the car in 105-degree heat. We do not believe that this was a mistake. Uh, We believe that she intentionally left the child inside the vehicle while she went inside to to shop for clothes. Tom Weger is with the Fishers Indiana Police Department. Bruce Terry, lead forecaster with the National Weather Service, says the heat wave set records across half the nation. We've had cities that have reached above 95 for nine or ten days in a row, so in some cases this will probably be the the hottest um, heat wave of all time. Relief is in sight. Temperatures tumbled by more than 15 degrees in St. Louis and Chicago on Saturday. They're expected to do the same in many areas further east today. Democratic Party leaders hit the talk shows today defending the Obama administration's economic record. We've had 28 straight months of job growth in the private sector. 4.4 4.4 million jobs created. Uh, the, the, the progress that we're making is, uh, is moving us forward. Uh, we, we need to continue to make more progress, obviously, and uh, you know, we, we haven't gone far enough. Florida Democratic Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz on Fox News Sunday. Republican National Committee Chairman Reince Priebus, also on Fox News Sunday, says it seems to him that Wasserman Schultz is out of touch. I don't know if she's on vacation in New Hampshire or on Mars. I can't figure it out. But uh, the fact of the matter is people are not better off today than they were three or four years ago. And the statistics bear it out. The men's final at Wimbledon is underway. Roger Federer growing for his seventh title. Andy Murray is the first British man in the final since 1938. They are both tied at four wins at each in the first set. This is AP Radio News. Two construction workers are dead in the collapse of a crane on the University of Texas at Dallas campus. AP Radio's John Klobuchar has more. Workers were heard screaming as the accident unfolded, the crane collapsing onto an unfinished building on the UTD campus. One man told Dallas TV station WFAA he heard a loud crashing sound like metal from the sky, then more screaming. The university says on its website the crane collapsed while it was being dismantled. What caused the collapse is unknown at this point, but the National Weather Service says a band of thunderstorms moved into the area Saturday afternoon, and with it came sudden wind gusts reaching upward of 40 miles per hour. 
I'm John Kulbikar. Mickey Mouse and Winnie the Pooh on stage, North Korea, during a concert for leader Kim Jong-un. Photos aired on state TV show performers' dresses, Disney characters dancing in front of video of Snow White and Beauty and the Beast on a massive screen. The network says the concert is part of a plan to make a dramatic turn in the arts. I'm Tim McGuire. Thank you, Radio News. Weather when you need it. Your Real Talk 1160 forecast every 15 minutes. Here's the forecast to Northern Kentucky, Cincinnati, and the Tri-State. For this afternoon, as we wrap up the weekend, an excessive heat warning continues through 6 p.m. There's a chance of showers and thunderstorms, generally partly sunny with a high of 94. The chance of showers and storms continues this evening, generally mostly cloudy overnight, low 68. Monday should be a partly sunny day with a high of 87. Tuesday looks mostly sunny with a high of 87. From the Real Talk 1160 Weatherbug Forecast Center, this is Rod Tanner. We know you should be working, but seeing as you're on Facebook already, why not flip over to the 1160 page and tell us what you think? Then go to 1160.com and listen while you're online. We're worldwide. Real Talk 1160. Hi folks, Debbie. Robkey with Robkey Automotive. I'm here to tell you about Northern Kentucky's best full-service used car store. Shop Robkey for sales, service, parts, collision repair, and rental car. Robkey Automotive, where quality is superior. Our prices can't be beat, our service is guaranteed, and our parts come with a national warranty. Come visit Robkey and see why our customers are always smiling. Robkey Automotive, I-275 at Exit 80 in Northern Kentucky, on the web at GoRobkey.com, or check us out on Facebook for fantastic deals of the week. Attention all Hyundai owners. Congratulations, because your used Hyundai may be worth more than you think. John, why is that? Well, here at Columbia Hyundai, because of high trade values, it's possible to trade in your used Hyundai and keep your present payment or even lower it for a comparable new Hyundai. Payment-wise, how low can you go? Right now, get a new 2012 Hyundai Accent for $149 a month, a new 2012 Elantra for $169 a month, or a new 2012 Sonata for $199 a month. This is a 36-month lease. Other than tax and title, there's only $19.99 due at signing. All these cars get over 40 EPA miles per gallon on the highway. So this is part of the Hyundai Fuel Efficiency Drive sales event during July? Yes, plus all new Hyundais come with America's Best Warranty, a 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty, and the Hyundai Assurance. Right, that's a better warranty than a Lexus. And we can get you finance approval in 30 minutes or less. And remember, we need good trade-ins, so we'll give you top dollar for yours. Only at Columbia Hyundai on Montgomery Road at I-275. Call 489-2000 or see our video at ColumbiaHyundai.com. Savage. The Savage. only cure for extreme liberalism is uh, shock therapy. Massive, massive doses of psychotropics. And uh, hopefully years of re-education. Michael Savage, weekdays at noon on Real Talk 1160. If you drive a car, you must have this number, 1-800-828-0159. The number to STI Towing, the Tri-State's towing pros. STI handles most motor clubs, including AAA, and they offer prompt, courteous, and professional service all day and all night. Mention Real Talk 1160 and the first five miles are free. That's 1-800-828-0159. 1-800-828-0159 for STI Towing. If it has to do with a presidential election, we're all over it. Real Talk 1160. Welcome to Dipsticks and Deals with Jimmy B and the Third Wheel on Real Talk 1160. Everything you need to know about cars, buying, financing, trading, maintenance, repairs, auto body, and more. Join the program by calling 513-579-1160. Now, here are your hosts, Jimmy B and the Third Wheel on Real Talk 1160. Welcome back to Dipsticks and Deals with Jimmy B and the Third Wheel. Do you have much traffic this morning, third wheel? No, actually, it's pretty smooth. That's good. One thing I did see, though, was a lot of TSA agents and security at the airport. Is that abnormal at the airport? I don't think it was. I think so now more because of that chorus thing that's going on, that world chorus. The, the Lund- choir games? Yeah, the choir games. That's what it is. Yeah, they're just flooding into the tri-state for that. They actually are. Well, you know, I heard this morning there's a lot of vacancies in the hotels downtown. There's 15,000 contestants. You'd think that would fill it up. It's a lot of people and their families. and But apparently there's a lot of vacancies. Traffic wasn't bad for me coming in, choir games or not. I didn't hear anybody singing. <laughs> I don't know anything about it. Why? Were, why isn't that incredible how they're going to make a sport out of singing now? No, they're not. It's the choir games. 
I'm not. This is like pre-Olympic stuff, dude. Yeah, I'm not paying attention to it. Sorry. I mean, that's great, but it's not my style. <laughs> Before we went to break, we were talking about buying cars or, or at least Craigslist ads in general. And I've, I got one more that I wanted to make sure that we touched on because you see this now and then. You don't see it often. But I got to make sure that the listeners out there, the American engine, understand what this means. Uh, I saw two of them over the weekend that said mechanic owned. Now, I've been in the service repair end of the car business for 27, 28 years. That's the worst car to buy. Trust me. Really? Why? Everybody thinks, or at least these folks on Craigslist think that if a mechanic owned the car, it must be good because he knows how to fix them. When something breaks, he fixes it. Come down and check out the cars my guys drive. Now, they have nice cars. The cars that they drive for their daily drivers, um, and I'll be, I'm going to be flat honest with you, I maintain my car really well um, because I know how important it is, and I've seen the damage when you don't. But relative to brakes, um, <laughs> squeaks and rattles, <laughs> exhaust leaks, and I will ride them until I have to fix them. And that's what these mechanics, they're working for 8, 10, 12 hours a day. Imagine working in this heat for that period of time on hot engines. Uh, are you going to work on your car when you're off work? Well, it goes back to really do you want to take your work home? Yeah. Most people don't. And they don't. And uh, you know, I'm not speaking for all mechanics. I can't do that. But I'm telling you that my experience in this business um, and there's a lot of mechanics who'll tell you this. They'll agree with me and say that, yeah, that's probably. And here's the thing. They know what they can get away with and what they can't. They know how to fudge things maybe to get it pacified till later kind of deal. Um, but, you know, really, when mechanics sell cars, they're usually the most honest. They just flat tell you, this is broke, this is broke, I did this, I did that. It'll get you where you need to go. I mean, when they sell those cars, it's kind of how they sell them. So they're they're being more honest. When you see an ad that says mechanic owned, um, and they're using it as a as a good thing, they're probably not a mechanic or the mechanic that may have owned it. That why are they selling it? You know what I'm saying? Well, you know where I have a problem with this is I don't care who you are. This is just my style. I when I buy a car, especially if it's used, I want to know. I want to see the service records. I want to see things done. Right. It, we talked about that a little bit ago. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's just me. That's just, I won't buy it. Well, and that's the other thing relative to a mechanic and where I fail horribly because being in the business, I'm not running my car through a shop down the street right. and getting a paid receipt. I'm running mine and I'm, I'm painting it through the parts counter or something of that nature. It's a discounted rate. So I don't have a collection all the time of retail repair receipts um and mechanics can be the same way they'll pay cash for the right. parts and do the work there's no receipt uh, i put brakes on my car and uh bought the parts through rob key and uh put them on after work one night i don't have a receipt for that i mean you can look and tell the brakes are new and they feel new and all that but i don't have meticulously maintained and all the records i just the car's been maintained well but i can't prove it so, and that's what you're going to find with mechanics too. But again, they're going to, they, a lot of times they're going to tell you that up front. Hey, look, I'd made sure the oil's changed. I did this and I did that. Um, I did it all internally. So I don't have receipts for it. So you're going to have to just trust them. But I got uh, one other funny mention on an ad that I saw in Craigslist. This just cracked me up. A lot of rebuild cars too, which is another subject for another show, but salvaged cars that have been rebuilt good bad and different we'll talk about that on another show but i did find several of them that are out there and with the floods and stuff that they had down south and even the floods up north a lot of these cars are available that have been rebuilt but this one in particular um i got a kick out of the fact that the guy put fresh water flood because a fresh water flooded car is so much better in than salt one water. that's been in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> I got a kick out of fre it's been flooded, but it was fresh water. Oh, that makes a difference. So it was at uh, 
It was an accident at the Aquafina plant. So it's distilled and it's spring water. <laughs> it's, it's just so a nice pure cleaning. It didn't damage it quite as much. In fact, he goes on to say that there's no signs of water damage, no mechanical issues, and no electrical issues. And then a couple of sentences down, he says, the only, wish, the only issue with the car is the passenger door lock does not function with the keyless entry. Now, and I don't advocate for diagnosing vehicles over the radio. You know that. But I'm going to take a shot at this one. It probably doesn't work because it's been underwater. <laughs> what do you think? You don't think electrical things in water mix? Fat, drunk, and stupid. There's oh, no my way goodness. Go we got, uh, we're coming up on a break pretty quick here, but we want to hit the fuel prices because they're going the wrong direction. Yeah, it seems like it looks like the national average now is 337. And if you remember last week, I said it was 330 for regular. Uh, the national average for the high, of course, that was the low. The high is three, three fifty nine, which is what I paid this morning on my way in. Right, right. So it's went up uh, ten cents. The lows went up seven cents, and um, and what we're, I think what we were saying is is three twenty nine, right now. Uh, for, national for the low for the oh yeah for around here for around here. So I mean everything's gone up between seven to ten cents a gallon. And I heard it's going to keep. Well, and you know, that's the thing, too, because everybody said with the election coming up, you know, they're going to do what they have to do to get fuel prices down and, you know, make people feel good. And, and that's true. I believe that. However, that market is so volatile, it doesn't take much to turn it. And I didn't do the homework on it. Apparently, Syria closed down some refineries or well, that, and there's some something over in uh, the Middle East. I can't remember the name of it, but there's a big issue of closing the strait. Oh, yeah. So And I, being I able know. to get the stuff out of there. Yeah, well, and, hey, when we come back, though, I'd like to say something to my daughter who's here. Right? Yes, Ask we've got a, a full house this morning and uh, more car talk coming up. We're yeah. going to shift it into third gear, fourth gear, and get this show moving. You're listening to Jimmy B and the Third Wheel on Dipsticks and Deals, Real Talk, 1160. Weather when you need it. Your Real Talk 1160 forecast every 15 minutes. Here's the forecast to Northern Kentucky, Cincinnati, and the Tri-State. For this afternoon, as we wrap up the weekend, an excessive heat warning continues through 6 p.m. There's a chance of showers and thunderstorms. It'll be partly sunny with a high of 94. The chance of showers and storms continues this evening. It'll be mostly cloudy overnight, although 68. Monday should be a partly sunny day with a high of 87. Tuesday looks mostly sunny with a high of 87. From the Real Talk 1160 Weatherbug Forecast Center, this is Rod Tanner. Hi folks, Debbie. Rob Key with Rob Key Automotive. I'm here to tell you about Northern Kentucky's best full-service used car store. Shop Rob Key for sales, service, parts, collision repair, and rental car. Rob Key Automotive, where quality is superior, our prices can't be beat, our service is guaranteed, and our parts come with a national warranty. Come visit Rob Key and see why our customers are always smiling. Rob Key Automotive, I-275 at Exit 80 in Northern Kentucky, on the web at GoRobKey.com, or check us out on Facebook for fantastic deals of the week. the attention deficit disordered America that exists today, long term indicates a time unit somewhere between the career of a boy band and the bitch slap of a hummingbird. Dennis Miller, weeknights at 10 on Real Talk 1160. Hi, I'm Joan London, and if you're worried about your parent or a loved one living alone like I was, and you want reliable senior care information, then call A Place for Mom the nation's largest senior living referral service. You'll get free information on assisted living, Alzheimer's care, nursing homes, even important financial information. They had obviously researched every place, not just given me names. They found me a place for what she could afford and it was magnificent. We're now very confident that she's safe and they just helped every step of the way and I can't thank them enough. So if you're struggling to find reliable senior living information, Call a place for mom. This is a free service, and you can trust them to help you. If you're struggling to find reliable senior living information for your mom or dad, then call or go online to get the free help you need during this turbulent time. Call now, 800-319-4486, 800-319-4486. You want speed? You want power? You want style? 
You want something that turns heads? Then you want Easy Street Speed and Customs in Milford. Easy Street offers everything from minor repairs to full restoration, custom builds, late model mod, performance parts, and an on-site dyno for real performance tuning. Hot rods and cool rides at Easy Street Speed and Custom, 701 Chamber Drive in Milford, 513-831-7550. That's 513-831-7550. Listen to what's new. Well, I don't think the Secret Service agents in question were on their best behavior. They're in a little bit of trouble and probably going to have to do some explaining. Lucy, what have you got to say for yourself? The Mike Huckabee Show, weekday afternoons at 3 on Real Talk 1160. I'm Dr. Lawrence Kurtzman. There's nothing more important at Kurtzman Plastic Surgery than providing not only the finest environment and experience, but most importantly, the absolute best results anywhere. I lost over 100 pounds and I turned to Dr. Kurtzman to surgery remove all my excess skin from the office to the service and especially the results I was blown away best decision I ever made my recovery was way quicker and easier than I ever imagined so many people warned me how rough tummy tuck recovery could be not with dr. Kurtzman my friends were amazed I was out to dinner only two days after my surgery the surgeon you choose does make a difference don't believe all the sales pitches and hype go to a board certified plastic surgeon it does make a difference for a complimentary informative and pressure-free consultation, call Kurtzman Plastic Surgery, 513-891-4440, 513-891-4440, or Google Kurtzman with the K, Plastic Surgery. Kurtzman Plastic Surgery, never settle. Since 1975, Huseman Schmidt Insurance Agency is the name that you can trust for quality personal and business insurance, as well as dedicated customer service throughout Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana. Huseman Schmidt Insurance offers competitive rates, and they represent many great insurers so you can compare plans and coverages. Getting a quote is fast, free, and it's easy. Just call 513-521-8590 or visit them on the web at HuesmanSchmidt.com. That's HuesmanSchmidt.com. Laura Ingram, mornings at 9, Real Talk 1160. We are ready to shift it into third gear on dipsticks and deals. Jimmy B in the third wheel, and we have a a third party. Yeah. You got my daughter here, Gabrielle. And uh, I just picked her up from the airport. She was had a, a nice week down in Charleston, South Carolina. And then uh, I heard on the rumor mill that she was uh, learning how to drive a car at 14 years of age. Now, I don't know how that is in South Carolina. Wow. Maybe legal, maybe not. I don't know. How Let's that, ask her. How'd that is go? it legal? No, it's not. Oh. It's still not. It's still not legal. How'd it go? It was all right. I mean... Do I need to call my insurance company? No, not today. Didn't crash it. So I assume it was your cousin's cars. Yeah. One of them. Were you driving on the beach or something or you were on a real... Just, just down the street. In the cul-de-sac and around the corner. Wow. Mm-hmm. Didn't crash. Now, I think it may be because of the golf cart that I used to have. Right. That now you have. That is on. That has been on fire. It caught on fire. Do not let me do electrical work on your vehicles. I try to put headlights on my golf cart, and it caught on fire. Really? When you get a car, don't let him work on it at all. I won't. Trust me. Bring it to <laughs> Rob Key Automotive, and we'll take care of it. <laughs> exactly. The right way. Or fear up north if I'm up there. You're the only guy I know. See, you don't own one of those cars that's involved in one of these various uh, fire hazard recalls, but really you are. If I touch it, I will. <laughs> you develop your own fire recalls. Yeah, I love cars, but I'm just I'm terrible at them. And well, and that's what what makes it good for you being here because there's a lot of people out there listening that are in that feel the same way. Well, and that's why I bought my daughter uh, her car early so that I know it's always maintained by people that I know like you. You and already told her about the Vega. No, it's not the Vega. <laughs> yeah, if it was a uh, reconditioned Vega, yeah, maybe. But no, this is this is not a Ford Jetta. This is a Volkswagen Jetta <laughs> right. that I had purchased for her. So awesome. She'll be rolling. At least she'll know how to drive. Learning two well, years early. Yeah, yeah. And, and unless you do a little time in the uh, pokey for well, doing that. Well, that's what I'm saying. I hope this is the last time I hear about it. Yeah, really. <laughs> yeah, well, see, now you should have said that because you said the last time you hear about it. Uh, true. Well, well, f- she could still do it. She just needs to make sure you don't hear about it. See, you worded mm-hmm. that completely wrong. I did. Fire starter. Mm, not good. <laughs> Let's take a look at the uh, car of the week this week. We got a good one in 1970. We had a 70 last week, too. 1970 Camaro RS SS. This is a 396, 375 horsepower, 
four-speed Muncie transmission. Um, the 7396 engine, and it, there could be more than just the 70, but I know particular to the 1970, engine was actually a 402 that was put in those cars. They kept that badging 396 because it was so popular. They didn't want to shake up the market by thinking somebody that they put a different engine in it, but it was actually a 402 uh, badged as a 396. The RS was actually the option that could be included on the Z28 or the SS that included that split bumper in the front, which I think made them look really cool. And we'll have these uh, pictures and stats posted on our Facebook page and our website, div 6 com. so you can check it out if you're curious as to what split bumper is. Um, there was actually going to be two 454 options planned for this vehicle, but they never produced them. What a rocket that would have been. I mean, the 396 was bad enough, but the 454 hypo engine they developed for the car that never made it would have really, really been cool. And this was the last of the 9-plus compression engines after... This vehicle, or at least this engine, um, 71, it's the emissions in 72, and then by 73, it was done. Right. For sure in 73. But beyond that, it's kind of cool that that muscle car type of feel is coming back with a lot of manufacturers. They're just figuring out how to do it and make it emission legal and get some fuel economy. And honestly, these cars they're producing today, the hot cars, uh, are a lot faster than these old muscle cars even. They're even not as cool. On the back end? As far as the top speed? Or yeah. What you're talking about? Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, off the start, they're going to be faster nowadays. But Well, ev- yeah, but a lot of these cars, like you'd be hard-pressed to get a 396, 70 Camaro to go 200 mile an hour without falling apart. And there's cars out there now that right. can do 200 miles an hour. There's nowhere around here to do it, but they're capable. Right. Uh, They can cruise at 140, really nice. Um, This car, not so much. I wouldn't recommend that, not unless you've done some tuning to the suspension. Dipstick of the week. This one, this makes me shake my head. Not that the other ones don't, but Shaquem Fleming of Bradenton, Florida, which is near where I was when I was in Florida, a Manatee County Sheriff found him outside of the police station, and uh, Shaquem said he wanted to go to jail. Officer asked him, hey, do you got any warrants, or what's the deal? And Shaquem said, no, I just want to go to jail, and he put his hands behind his back. The sheriff Uh, said, uh, we can't do that. We can't just take you to jail for no reason. So, of course, Shaquem jumped on the hood of the police car that was sitting there, started jumping up and down. Now he's going to jail. Well, actually, drunk and stupid is no way to go eight hundred dollars worth of damage later, and an arrest for vandalism, disorderly conduct, criminal damaging, and defacing government property. Shaquem got his wish. Oh no! And off we to jail he went. I mean, could you? Oh, what's what is it? Bath salts? What's the deal here? You know, I I don't know these people. I, I guess he was hungry, maybe homeless, needed a place to. I mean, could have been hot. You know, he just needed to get inside. Yeah, but they have played. You know, and if he would have said that to the cop, the cop probably would have obliged the guy, got him a glass of water, told him where the drop-in center was or whatever. But I wonder if there was any physical injury, injuries to Shaquem after his little stunt. I would say that there probably was because there was a part of the story that said where another sheriff or two showed up to assist. A little nightstick across the uh, <laughs> shin get him off my car would help. <laughs> You got to do a lot of jumping up and down to do eight hundred dollars worth of damage. Yeah, I'm sure he pretty much smashed the hood and ran up on top of the, the, the roof, roof, maybe and too. Kicked the lights. Man, Shaquem, what are you thinking, bro? You're a dipstick. Yeah, huge. That's really stupid. That's stu- stupid. That's stupid to do to anybody's car, but especially a sheriff's vehicle. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not a good idea. Hey, uh, shows and events, hot rod related. The fifteenth, Good Guys Nationals in Columbus, Ohio. That's actually this weekend. Uh, I know it's hot, uh, but if you're looking for something to do, a little cruise in the AC up to Columbus to the Expo Center, there's 6,000 custom cars up there. There's drag rate. There's all kind of stuff to do. Uh, it's 18 bucks to get in, $6 for children. I think if they're under some age, it's free, but it's a really, really big show. It's a national points event. So if you want to see a bunch of cars in, a, in a, one area, that's a good place to do it up there at that Expo. I was looking also at uh, bank rates 
and uh, we want to get back on for the deal side to talk about bank rates a little bit. And uh, I can tell you that currently um, on a 60-month used car rate, and this is local too, by the way, um, 3.48 to 6.48, a lot of variables in there relative to credit, things like that. But uh, you can go as low as a 3.48. Now, there may be some other ones. I see one here. That's one particular bank, one big bank. I can see another bank on a new car has got 275. There are some national lenders out there as low as 1.99 for new car financing. And that's based on 60 months. And don't forget about the credit unions. Credit unions are big. In fact, the lowest rates you're going to find are going to be through a credit union. There's some national credit unions you can get involved in with, too. Um and one of these that I'm looking at now, I've never even heard of it, but it is a national credit union. You become a member, um, and you got you got to have good credit. I mean, these rates aren't uh, are not for everybody's application. But on a 60 month new car loan, 1.99 is not bad to a credit union. That changes uh, relative to term, um, what the amount you're financing, what you're looking at, what type of car, how much they'll lend, et cetera. Um, Another local bank has got uh, new car financing at 4.34, and another one used car at 4.9 is what they're showing, and that's courtesy of bankrate.com. So. And remember, people, if you're out there and, you, and you're going to go out and try to buy a vehicle, do your research. Try to get to your financial institution, either it's a credit union or a bank. Find out what you could qualify for before you go out and spin your wheels and try to say, boy, I really like that Corvette, but you can't get it. Know what you're, what you're worth. Know, know what your credit score is. And then go out. Don't, uh, don't go out and waste people's time. Well, and you're going you're gonna to end up disappointing yourself. You are. And uh, if you go to the right place and you're buying a vehicle and you're not on Craigslist looking to buy a vehicle and you're talking to somebody at a dealer uh, that knows what they're talking about, they're going to do a qualification. They're going to try to make sure they understand and that you understand the type of vehicle you need. Oh, yeah. You may go in and look for the Corvette, and it's pretty simple when the salesman looks down and sees three young children and gets an idea of what you're going to use the vehicle for. Maybe it's just a midlife crisis. The whole wants and needs. Exactly. We'll get into some more stuff. We got uh, stupid things people do to their cars coming up when we shift into fourth gear. Dipsticks and deals on Real Talk 1160. When you need it. Your Real Talk 1160 forecast every 15 minutes. Here's the forecast to Northern Kentucky, Cincinnati, and the Tri-State. For this afternoon, as we wrap up the weekend, an excessive heat warning continues through 6 p.m. There's a chance of showers and thunderstorms. It'll be partly sunny with a high of 94. The chance of showers and storms continues this evening. It'll be mostly cloudy overnight, low 68. Monday should be a partly sunny day with a high of 87. Tuesday looks mostly sunny with a high of 87. From the Real Talk 1160 Weatherbug Forecast Center, this is Rod Tanner. Hi folks, Debbie Robkey with Robkey Automotive. I'm here to tell you about Northern Kentucky's best full service used car store. Shop Robkey for sales, service, parts, collision repair, and rental car. Robkey Automotive, where quality is superior. Our prices can't be beat, our service is guaranteed, and our parts come with a national warranty. Come visit Robkey and see why our customers are always smiling. Robkey Automotive, I-275 at Exit 80 in Northern Kentucky, on the web at GoRobkey.com, or check us out on Facebook for fantastic deals of the week. It's hiding under the sink. It's hiding under the couch. It's in the basement. It can even be in your bed. What is that? It's bugs. The mild winter we had was good for us and great for pests. But don't fret. Call Harvey's Pest Control and ask for Tom Harvey. He'll find it and he'll kill it. Harvey's Pest Control. 513-300-2880. That's 513-300-2880. How about real car talk? Maintenance and repairs, buying and selling, hot rods and cool rides, performance, off-road and auto racing. How about dips, dicks and deals on Real Talk 1160? The show that's anything and everything automotive every Sunday morning from 9 to 11. With me, your host, Jimmy B. in the third wheel, you'll get industry insight, cool trends, tips and tricks, and a whole lot more. For an entertaining and engaging look into the automotive world, listen to dips, dicks and deals every Sunday morning at 9 on Real Talk 1160. You'll be smarter for having listened. Dennis Miller? We've got an app for that. I'm the guy who can't seem to figure out how to turn his radio down. Download TuneIn Radio for your Android, iPhone, or BlackBerry and listen to Real Talk 1160 anytime, anywhere. 
Hey, it's the Wild Man from Real Sports 1160 here with my friend Rob Bullock from Bullock Roofing. Hey, Wild Man. Rob, I hear you guys are the roofing experts. That's right, Wild Man. If it has to do with a roof, we can handle it. Roof contracting and replacement, shingles, gutters, chimney repair, skylights. We even offer replacement windows. Now, what sets Bullock Roofing apart from the other guys? Wild Man, we are the roofing experts. We do it once, we do it right, and our pride shows in our work. Our customers mean the world to us, and their satisfaction speaks volumes. We're based on old-fashioned value and fair prices. And word of mouth today is everything. That's right. Our popularity has grown thanks to our customers telling their family and friends about our quality work. Take it from Rob Bullock with Bullock Roofing. If you need help with your roof, gutters, chimney, even replacement windows, get the treatment you deserve from the experts at Bullock Roofing. We service the entire greater Cincinnati area. Find us on the web at BullockRoofing.com. That's BullockRoofing.com. Call us for a free estimate today at 513-771-2096. This is what real sports sounds like. The majority of the people that will go to this ball game on Saturday afternoon, when the game's over, they will go home and that's been their Saturday. With those prices, if you're taking a family down there, you bet your ass that's their Saturday. <laughs> real sports, weekdays at 5 on Real Talk 1160. Reincarnation Auto Body and Pain of North of Kentucky. This is Don. May I help you? Don, this is Rick from 1160, man. Hey, Rick, how are you doing? Not good. Okay, long story short, Pecora loaned me his car to go pick up his dry cleaning, and on my way out, I backed right into a light pole. He is going to kill me. All right, all right, Rick, settle down, settle down. Bring it in, I'll personally inspect the damage. I'm positive we can take care of it with no problem at all. You are the man. But, Don, this has to stay between me and you. Hi, I'm Don Matalka, owner of Reincarnation Auto Body and Paint. Bring your damaged vehicle, and I will personally take the time to show you why reincarnation is different. We're flexible with your deductible, and I know my experience with handling insurance companies will help you get your repairs done smoothly. Just Google Reincarnation of Northern Kentucky, where we bring good cars back to life. Reincarnation Auto Body and Paint, Don Matalka speaking. Hey, Don, it's Pecoro. See, I was out driving in the wife's van, and I drove by your lot, and I thought I saw a car that looked like mine. Yeah, that's a popular color. Check us out and listen online in crystal clarity. Realtalk1160.com. Welcome back. We're quickly shifting into fourth gear on Dick Dixon Deals. That was loud. That was very loud. <laughs> Getting my blood moving. Fourth gear, dipsticks and deals on Real Talk 1160. We were talking about some bank rates, local bank rates for new and used car purchases when we left. And, you know, we're really not the experts on the finance side. No, we're not. And I know who is, though. Who's the experts? Who you could you actually talk to? go see Debbie Rofke at Rofke Automotive there in, uh, was that Fort Wright, Kentucky Fort Wright. on Dudley? Or you can go out and see Ray Tenley, General Manager of Fear Motors, Fear Buick GMC, out there on Dixie Highway in Hamilton, Ohio. Those guys have been in the business, I would have to say, forever. I mean, I, I've known Ray forever, and I know you've known Debbie forever. and They can pretty much answer any question you have, uh, get you financed anywhere you're at, and get you in a car. And they can be confusing, that part of it. It's real confusing. And they can explain it pretty simple, though. They can make it simple. Um, they can even quote your rates and take information so you know where you're at. Um, those are the professionals that you want to seek out relative to financing and bank rates and that stuff. We can report the numbers. The details you want to get from those pros. Uh, we're more professionals on the fixed side service operations. And we got sales and finance experience too. Yeah. But uh, when it gets down to current interest rates and how all of the bank stuff works, you need to contact those folks. Um I just wanted to say something real quick. Okay, make it fast. Especially to the American engine out there. Yes. Uh, you mentioned the good guys, Nationals. Yeah, I did. And we're going to change. We're not going to change. We're going to add something to our show or format, and it's going to have to do with uh, uh, all the car shows, cruise-ins, uh, the raceways, not just in Ohio, but in Kentucky and Indiana, and some national, and, and of course, NASCAR and, and uh, Sprint Cup. But... Uh, the Good Guys National is July 6th through the 8th, so that's actually going on this weekend, like you said. And then next week, you have Dave and Ed's Canfield Swap out in Canfield, Ohio. Then you have, and that's on the 13th and through the 15th, and also on the 14th of July, you have the Shine and Show. And that is, looks like out in Crooksville, Ohio. I'm not too familiar with that, but what I'm trying to get at is we're going to have these things, all the all the car shows, cruise-ins, all the raceway information, all these sites 
and, and that you need to find when they're on, when they're going on where they're at will be on our site. So I'm taking about five or six websites of information, and I'll be able to get it all on our one site, either at dipsticksanddeals.com or on our Facebook at Dipsticks and Deals. Cool. It's real cool. It'll make gonna, it easier for people. We will, and we're going to go outside of our immediate area a little bit, and that's simply because we do have listeners from all over the place that are listening via TuneIn and Radio Loyalty app and things like that that want to know that too. So some stuff that may require a little road, road trip, but that makes for a great weekend and makes for a, a lot more fun. So, And I was surprised on how much, how many races are going on at once. It's every weekend, dude. It's incredible. It's In fact, if you want to include Thursday night lights at Edgewater, you're Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, every single weekend somewhere, more than one thing's going on. Even the small little cruisings, like the ones at Eastgate on Tuesday up in front of Dick's Sporting Goods. Right. And there's one big one in Milford on Friday uh, yeah. uh, in front of Kroger's in Milford. So, I mean... Yeah, and they've got one in Walton every Wednesday night. We're going to try to help you find yeah, everything. Yeah, we're going to put these stuff in, help those folks out, and uh, give everybody something to do. We're going I mean, hell, we're all sitting in the uh, AC now all day long anyway, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> trying to stay cool. So we're going to try to make something happen, give you something to do. We're going to get into our, our fourth gear segment here, which is uh, stupid things people do to their cars. And there's a bunch of them. This is stupid. I only pulled about 20 of them out. And I'll start us off. And uh, if you're out there listening, you've done some of these stuff. And, and let me preface this by saying I live in Kentucky. I live down in Grand County. I'm from Do I need Cincinnati. a disclaimer? No, okay. I'll disclaimer. Right. Now, listen, I, <laughs> I, I was born and raised in Cincinnati. I live in Grand County. I'm qualified as a buckabilly to be able to talk about this stuff. Because I like I've been on both sides. I am a true buckabilly. I've been in Kentucky for 13 years now, I think. Some of the stuff, I know people that have done this stuff. And a few of these I've probably done at some point or another anyway. One of them I haven't done, which is our first one, is uh, the proud parent stickers. You know, I hope your kid is smart and does well because you just spent money on a stupid bumper sticker proud parent of a whatever really i don't care i don't think anybody behind you cares do you have one on your third wheel no but what i think is even dumber is the one where it, what's the one i beat up your honor roll student my kid beat up your honor roll. well and that's what makes this so stupid because it prompts those stupid bumper stickers <laughs> so we're, who's who's dumber exactly so proud parent stickers leave them on the refrigerator I haven't seen many of these, but I have seen them. Headlight lashes. No, I've never seen that before. You can buy eyelashes that you open your hood and attach to under the side of the hood or somehow they affix, but when you shut the hood, it makes the headlights look like eyeballs because they have eyelashes. I've seen it. I've seen a couple of them in Florence. Saw one up near Tri-County the other day. It's just a way to get attention, and my recommendation is if you have to put eyelashes on your BMW you sh for attention, you probably should have bought a Lamborghini. That's going to get you much better attention and more of it than eyelashes on your car, so throw them in the garbage. This one, I struck a little controversy over the weekend, the baby on board sign. I'm not buying it. I don't know anybody that's driving down the road, and I'm going to go ram into that guy for no rule. Wait, 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 wait. He's got a baby on board sign. <laughs> Be careful. Now, my wife's a proponent of these. I don't know that we ever had one, but she was the first one to pipe up and tell me, no, those are good. I always pay attention, and I'm extra careful when I see a baby on board sign. So I'll put my coffee down while I'm texting. Or just because get a, there's a baby on board. Or just get a sign that says I'm drinking piping hot coffee and put that in your window so people are cautious Extra and careful. careful. That is ridiculous. Fake bullet holes? Yeah, I do not like what that. What does that mean? I mean, really? It means you want to be dangerous, but you're not. Is that what that is? Bullet holes in the side of my car. I'm so cool. I don't get it. If, if you, you really, if you want my respect and you're looking for that edgy look, Go get a gun and shoot the side of your car. Put real bullet holes in it. <laughs> well, the other thing, too, is, and I know we had a friend to do this, 
and and they got in trouble for this is the fake arm hanging out of the trunk. Yeah, they don't like that. Mm. Our friends got arrested for that. <laughs> yeah, they got in trouble yes, they for did. inciting panic. Yeah, it looked real. Yeah, it did. And I saw one of those. Uh, I went on a road trip this weekend and saw one of those hanging out of the top of one of those luggage carrier box things you put on the top of your SUV. One was hanging out of that. And it was really fake looking because it had the fake blood on it. But I remember when those folks did that one. We oh, won't yeah. name them, but they got in trouble for inciting panic because somebody followed them with the police on the phone saying somebody's in the trunk of the car. I see their arm. I can see their arm hanging out. Yeah. So not a good idea. <laughs> um, how about those? Uh, how about when those people tint their own taillights? You can buy that spray tint or whatever it is i saw that i actually saw a film tint on somebody's taillight one time yeah and you can't see if the taillights are even working or it was peeling it's ridiculous that looked even worse how about uh wheels that are like three sizes too big for the car and it's like three four feet off the ground i see a lot of that i don't understand that chrome door edge molding that you attach to anything that it'll fix itself to (laughs) (laughs) giant rear spoilers on cars that they don't belong on, which it doesn't belong. An F1 type doesn't belong on a street car, number one. But I remember in Florence, a lot of listeners are going to remember, way back when there was the Florence Whale. And this was a guy, I think it was a Neon or an Accord. Dude had a three-foot tall whale tail yeah, on the back of this thing. Yeah, ridiculous. How about uh, spray-bombed wheels? Spray-bomb being a spray can. Uh, what you do is you can't afford to put custom wheels on your car, so you pull your hubcaps off and paint them paint the steel wheels not real cool how about the stick family stickers that you see on the back yes. of the minivans and i call that pedophile art <laughs> <laughs> advertising your kids why would you want to do that i don't get they it think it, they think they're pr- proud I, I proud really i don't know i don't have it dude i saw one the other day with a wheelchair a stick figure wheelchair guy come on i don't and they're doing the dogs and the cats I mean, is this necessary? The no. stick figures? No. So if I'm pulling up behind you, I, you know what? I don't care. Hey, I got to tell you something too real quick. My dad, I loved him to death, but he was ghetto. He painted, <laughs> he painted his truck bed in his rims with a paintbrush and a roller. <laughs> that was my dad. <laughs> we'll be back with some more stupid stuff people do to their cars on Dips and Deals. Real Talk 1160. So Weather when you need it. Your Real Talk 1160 forecast every 15 minutes. Here's the forecast to Northern Kentucky, Cincinnati, and the Tri-State. For this afternoon, as we wrap up the weekend, an excessive heat warning continues through 6 p.m. There's a chance of showers and thunderstorms. It'll be partly sunny with a high of 94. The chance of showers and storms continues this evening. It'll be mostly cloudy overnight, low 68. Monday should be a partly sunny day with a high of 87. Tuesday looks mostly sunny with a high of 87. From the Real Talk 1160 Weatherbug Forecast Center, this is Rod Tanner. Hey folks, Jimmy B here. Did you know that one of the most important structural aspects of your vehicle is the windshield? It accounts for almost 50% of the rollover strength. That's why you must choose the right company for windshield repair and replacement, and that's Mel's Auto Glass. Mel's Auto Glass has certified professionals serving the Tri-State for more than 25 years. Don't trust something so important to anyone else. The experts at Mel's Auto Glass for quality, value, and peace of mind. Call 513-563-7771. That's 513-563-7771. We know you should be working, but seeing as you're on Facebook already, why not flip over to the 1160 page and tell us what you think? Then go to 1160.com and listen while you're online. We're worldwide. Real Talk 1160. How about real car talk? Maintenance and repairs, buying and selling, hot rods and cool rides, performance, off-road and auto racing. How about dips, dicks and deals on Real Talk 1160, the show that's anything and everything automotive, every Sunday morning from 9 to 11. With me, your host, Jimmy B. and the Third Wheel, you'll get industry insight, cool trends, tips and tricks, and a whole lot more. For an entertaining and engaging look into the automotive world, listen to dips, dicks and deals every Sunday morning at 9 on Real Talk 1160. You'll be smarter for having listened. How's the expansion plans going for your business? Oh, I'm holding off until the economy improves. Really? Are your competitors on hold for the next few years? Well, I... I'm not waiting. I called General Steel Corporation. Their steel buildings have been used for businesses, churches, and schools around the world. They showed me how to save real money on a building designed for my needs and my specifications. I can actually operate more efficiently in a building they helped me design. 
While my competitors are sitting on the sidelines waiting for economic change, I'm going to make my own change and take market share. When this economy turns around, I'll be in the lead. Come on, you didn't start your business by waiting for someone to tell you when the time is right. Stop sitting on your hands and pick up the phone oh, and ask about these rebates that can save you up to $20,000. Call 800-215-2418. 800-215-2418. That's 800-215-2418. Hi folks, Debbie. Rob Key with Rob Key Automotive. I'm here to tell you about Northern Kentucky's best full-service used car store. Shop Rob Key for sales, service, parts, collision repair, and rental car. Rob Key Automotive, where quality is superior, our prices can't be beat, our service is guaranteed, and our parts come with a national warranty. Come visit Rob Key and see why our customers are always smiling. Rob Key Automotive, I-275 at Exit 80 in Northern Kentucky, on the web at GoRobKey.com, or check us out on Facebook for fantastic deals of the week. Crank it up. Herman Cain endorsed Newt like it matters now. <laughs> oh, let it go, Herman. To 11. After the lead of Romney widens the 15. <laughs> so Jump like on board right yeah. there. The Bulldog. Every morning at 7 on Real Talk 1160. Imagine you're reaching for a pen when you slip and... Yep, there goes your coffee right onto your computer. If you're one of the almost 50% of small businesses that don't back up their PCs, you've just lost data, and there's a good chance you'll lose sales. From human error to natural disasters, or even those little oops moments, there's always a risk of your computer system going down, and that could really hurt your business. Take it from Doug McDonald at the Cincinnati Museum Center. Like every other business, data is critically important. We have over 80,000 records of donors and members who are critical to our livelihood. That may be enough to make you give up coffee forever, but there's a better way. How does the museum center do it? Cincinnati Bell is a wonderful partner, and with them, I don't worry about these things. That gives you peace of mind. So don't swear off coffee just yet, because Cincinnati Bell is now offering data backup, part of our peace of mind suite. Get 25 gigs for just $25 for 12 months. Now that should help you relax, unless you've had too much coffee. Just call 513-2-BUNDLE or visit MyRightSolution.com slash backup. Cincinnati Bell, right here for you. Cincinnati's Real Talk. Real Talk 1160. All righty. We're getting ready to come through the traps on Dick Dixon Deal. We're going to downshift here a little bit. We were talking about stupid things people do to their cars, and I really wish... We had a longer segment to talk about this. We might need to do some more of these next week because I've got a whole list and we're just barely getting through them. Because there's a lot of stupid people. Not to be mean, but there are. No, but you know what? Or maybe it's just advertised. And and there's people that will do things like these, things that we're talking about on purpose. They know it's dumb. They're doing it to get attention. You know what I mean? But maybe they don't really look at the psyche behind it like we do. Well, they cross the line of being cool then. They do cross the line of being cool. I know the stick figures is a big one for a lot of people. Yeah, I know. My daughter was uh, she made, us She off. made a great point during the break. What was oh, that? Yeah. If, um, if you have, like, your dog or whatever on it, then if your dog dies, then who wants to go pee off the dog sticker off the car? <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. It's memory. Or like Are you going to have to have a ceremony and peel him <laughs> off, or are you going to put an X through him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like a, put some duct tape. Like a fighter plane? <laughs> big, big black piece of duct tape. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's not good. I tell you, though, I don't know how often you guys see this in Ohio, but I'm going to tell you where I'm from. I see it more than I want to see it. Truck nuts. What is a truck nut? Oh, my God. You've seen the large... Um, testicle things that are hanging from oh, the bottom no, yeah, back okay. of a pickup truck. It's like, like in a movie Transformers. I don't yeah. want to get crude, but you know what? Mm, nah, not, That's not, not cool. digging it. That is not cool. I'm not even sure what the statement is that they're trying to make with that. Um, it certainly is not a chick magnet, I wouldn't think. And they put them on the back of their truck bumper? They hang them from the back of the truck bumper to make it look like it has some nads. So, so basically, this guy in his truck has a a. Uh, it's, he's probably five foot four. Well, he's probably about one hundred and fifty pounds. Little man. He's syndrome. got a big old truck and a big old truck nut. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. And what was really odd is that they seem to come in various colors. Silver. Silver, chrome. Apparently, my daughter's seen it before. <laughs> <laughs> At the mall. All righty. Well, We're not going to talk about truck. that one right now. <laughs> Ear muffs, eye muffs, every muff. There, just get rid of it. Uh, all right. Well, we'll skip past that one, yeah, I think. Bad segment. Um, what are you talking about, trucks? 
And I, I've seen this on both sides of the river, and I've seen it in Indiana. How about the uh, stacks on the diesel trucks? Good, bad. Wasn't it the Little Red Truck had that, though? Well, it had factory, and that was a V8 hot rod truck. They worked. Yeah, and they were functional. Mm-hmm. But you got these uh, these guys running around. And I'll be honest with you, a- another one is the uh, the giant exhaust, the, the coffee can exhaust pipe. Right. If you've got a car that has some performance value and it requires, you know, a breathable exhaust system, and, and I'm good with that. It's the guy with the 2003 Neon or the old Cavalier right. that, and here's the thing, just so everybody understands, when you put one of them three, four-inch mufflers or exhaust systems on a car engine like that that's not modified, you're doing the exact opposite of what you're trying to make it appear that it could do. It actually detunes the car. The car's required so much back pressure through the exhaust to run at a particular RPM and be not only fuel efficient, but to have power. You open that up and put this giant coffee can exhaust on the back, your car's now slower. Wow. I wonder how many you of them have know that because mod- you see it a lot. The engine has to be modified to match the exhaust system or you're doing the opposite of what you're trying to do. Plus, you're spending money on these exhaust systems, which aren't cheap. You know, that's why I like rat cars. Rat cars, because you can put anything on them? Because it's not the show, it's the guts that's in it. It's the guts, Yeah. It, it may not look like much, but you know what? You're going to be looking at the back of it. Yeah, exactly. And anything on any car, if you other than a truck, if you've got a car and you've done modifications to your engine and you're doing it right, anything bigger than a 3-inch on a 4 six-cylinder is a waste. The 5-inch, the 6-inch stuff that I've seen hanging out of the back of these cars, uh, it's not doing what you think it's doing, and it looks dumb. But the stacks is what I was talking about on the on the right. diesel trucks. And oh, they, I know. they put the programmers on them and they smoke them. They get the flap. So you get behind them and they want to show you how cool they are and they tune her down, lean it out, or richen it up and blows raw fuel out of the back in the form of black smoke and you can't see. Yeah. Which I'm not opposed. I think on the right vehicle, if he's got the a good tuner and the truck runs good and sounds good. I don't have a problem with a single or a dual stack, but come on, these guys that are putting the five, six-inch stacks in the back that look like car wash buckets, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Oh, yeah. Dumb. Don't do that. They cross the cool line, like they, I said. They cross the cool line. No longer cool. And maybe that's a segment we integrate. Don't cross the cool line. Don't ever cross the cool line. What else do we got? I got a tech tip of the week. What kind of tech tip? Tech Tip of the Week comes from Jason Smith, who's an ASE certified technician at Georgetown Auto and Truck in Georgetown, Kentucky. And this is really, really a good tip relative to our summer months. He says, when starting your car on a hot day, make sure the recirculate button or the option for recirculate is off. And then after your car cools down, make sure that the recirculate button is on. This will save fuel, not make the AC compressor work so hard to cool a hot car. And this is a really good tip because a lot of folks don't understand how the recirculation button works on a little bit higher end car. It's got an auto air system, so it does it for you. But if the little recirc, which is the little car with the little arrow going like in a big U backward, that's your recirculation button. When you get in your car hot, The air inside the car is hotter than the air outside the car. You want to draw in air from the outside because it's cooler. So you want recirculate off. 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 That draws air from the cowling from the outside. Is that why I smell things? That's why you smell things because it's going to (laughs) draw in the smell things from the outside. Because I'll drive through certain neighborhoods and it smells. But your car will cool off faster. Then it I will be less side. stress on the uh, AC system. I did not know that. Once the car is cooled down where you're fairly comfortable, you want to then do the opposite. It's the same thing, but in reverse. The air in the car, when it's cooler than the outside, you want to recirculate the air inside the car, and that's what that button's for. See, I've done just the opposite. A lot of people do. A lot of people don't understand how that works. But when it's as hot as it is, like it is now in this area, you got to know how to use the recirculate button. I'll put that on our Facebook and website just so people can refresh because a lot of folks don't know. If you have auto air, you don't have to worry about it because it will do it by itself. But most all cars still have the recirc button as an option for you. Um, And I thought that was a really, really good tip. 
and he's going to get a free D&D t-shirt for that tip. Yeah, that's awesome. I want to remind everybody about our uh, contest this week where you can win a $25 gas card to the station of your choice. Log on to our Facebook page. Make sure you're a fan of the page or like the page. It's not mandatory for the uh, to win the gas card, but we would appreciate the like. Uh, the question is, what is the current land speed record and the name of the man or woman that holds that record? I actually saw that on one of those Discovery Channel things, but I can't remember the guy's name. You're not eligible anyway. <laughs> I would have lost anyway. And I think you owe me $25. What? Yeah. Very good. Remember to tune us in every Sunday morning from 9 to 11 a.m. Check us out on Facebook, dipsticksanddeals.com. Listen live on realtalk1160.com. You're looking at me, third wheel, like something's wrong. No, I'm just trying to catch up to you. Since I got a little here a little late, I'm trying to catch up. It's easy, so. easy for you to say. Yeah, I'm still way behind. Very cool. Listen, it's going to be hot today. Uh, be mindful. I will put that research thing on our Facebook and on our website because that's really important, and we really, really appreciate that tip uh, so that you can – improve your uh, cooling capability of your ac and save some gas mileage too uh and then i think next week we will get into some more stupid things because i got a sure i got a whole list of stuff to go through Do and, some bumper uh, stickers all kinds of stuff bumper sticker and i'll tell you what i got some road signs um that were just hilarious and we're going to talk about some of those next week i think i got a dui joke too not a dui joke a dui when i was a police officer well we are going to stupid uh people Maybe have a guest in studio, too, next week for some fun. So, Well, and a song of the week? Yes. What is it, sir? It's Rocket 88 by Jaxie Brentston and his Delta Cats. Very cool. Thanks for joining us today on Dipsticks and Deals with Jimmy B in the third wheel. We'll see you next weekend. My new Rocket 88. Yes, it's straight. Just one way. Everybody likes my Rocket 88. Baby, we'll ride in style. Moving all along. 